Hello everyone, my name is Sheikh Irfan and in this video we are going to see steel fiber and first concrete. We have seen what are the types of fibers we use in fiber and first concrete such as steel fibers, glass fibers, synthetic, natural fibers. Now in this video we are going to see particularly the steel fiber and first concrete and see steel fiber and first concrete is the most commonly used among all other fibers means steel type in the type of fibers out of the type of fibers steel is the most commonly used fibers and it is used for both the structural as well as non structural purposes and steel fiber reinforced concrete that is sfrc is the composite material which will have steel fibers and they will be dispersed uniformly in the concrete matrix and its percentage will be in between 0.3% to 2.5% by volume. And see, steel fibers are added in the concrete to improve its structural properties and especially tensile and flexural strength. As we know that we have seen the properties of steel fibers in our previous videos, why steel fibers are used, in which cases they are used, what are the applications of it. So, steel fibers are added in the concrete particularly to increase the structural properties of the concrete and it gives tensile strength and flexural strength to the concrete. So what is the size of fiber we use in SFRC? See the size of fibers will vary between 0.25 mm to 1 mm in diameter means its diameter will be in between 0.25 mm to 1 mm and its length will be 12 mm to 60 mm. Generally we use this type of fibers. See the fibers may be straight fibers, hooked fibers, screen fibers or paddled. See you can see the, see the shape of it. These are nothing but straight fibers. These are hooked fibers. These are crimped fibers. So these are various types of fibers we use in steel fiber and first concrete. And its content will vary from 0.3 to 2.5 percent as we have seen its percentage will be in between 0.3 to 2.5 percent by volume of concrete and these are nothing but various shapes that we use such as straight hooked crimped paddled enlarged ends and we can also use irregular shaped fibers and why we give such type of uh, varieties of fibers or why we use in uh, the concrete such varieties because we want bond and different types of fibers will give different bondings see round steel fibers will be produced by either cutting it or chopping it and what we will cut we will cut or chop round wires and its diameter will be 0.25 mm to 0.75 mm then we also have flat sheet fibers and they are produced just by slitting the flat sheets to get this type of fibers what we will do we will just slit the flat sheets of uh, to produce flat sheet fibers then we have deformed fibers which are bonded with water soluble glue and we form a bundle of it so deformed fibers will be in the bundles and how we get that bundle we use soluble glue to form the bundle and to improve the bond with the concrete mix generally what type of fibers we can use see the irregular shape we can use even crimped shape we can use even hooked shape we can use what we will they, they will do because of these hooks and because of these crimped shapes they will give good bonding in the concrete and with the fiber content of 1.5% to 2% direct tensile strength will increase by 30 to 40% and flexural strength will increase 50 to 150% also see that is the advantage of using this type of fibers just we are adding see just we are adding the content of 1.5 to 2% only and that will increase direct tensile strength by 30 to 40 percent and flexural strength will increase by 50 to even 150 percent. Now let's see the behavior of steel fiber reinforced concrete. See steel fiber reinforced concrete has ability of excellent tensile strength. As we know that this is one of the best type of fibers we use in fiber reinforced concrete. It will have good tensile strength good flexural strength it will also have shock resistance then fatigue strength it will have and ductility it will have and it will also have one property that is crack arrest now what is this crack arrest property this is nothing but 
they will reduce the crack formation and it will also delay the flexural cracking so that is one advantage you can say or that is the behavior of steel fiber reinforced concrete it will have ability to it will have excellent tensile strength flexural strength it will also have shock resistance fatigue strength and ductility also and it increases energy absorption capacity means it will have good toughness also then as i told you it will have crack arrest property that means they will it will the our concrete will have reduced crack width see direct tensile strength also increases with the addition of this steel fibers in fiber reinforced concrete and it will increase about 45% with just the addition of 1% of steel fibers in the concrete matrix and split tensile strength also increases by 40% with addition of 1.5% steel fibers in concrete so this is the behavior see behavior of fiber reinforced concrete or steel fiber reinforced concrete is nothing but how it will react under various types of loads how it how it will give tensile strength how it will give split tensile strength how the energy absorption will be there will it increase or not so that is nothing but behavior of this so it behaves like a it will delay first the flexural cracking it will increase the energy absorption capacity by using this steel fibers in our concrete it will also have the crack arrest property that means the reduce there will be reduced crack width then direct tensile strength will also increase about 45 percent with just addition of one percent and split tensile strength will also increase by 40 percent with the addition of 1.5 percent of steel fibers then increase in energy absorption capacity will be 10 times with addition of 2.5 percent increase in fiber content see these are nothing but the tests which are performed over the concrete which is used with steel fibers so first we use u1 percent then 1.5 percent then 2 percent and we kept on increasing that value and we saw the results how there is a difference in direct tensile strength whether the it will increase or not whether there will be increase in energy absorption and we found these results so increase in energy absorption capacity will be 10 times with just addition of 2.5 percent increase in fiber content then compressive strength at failure will increase by 25 percent over the normal concrete or plain cement concrete with addition of just 1.5 percent steel fibers means if you are adding just 1.5 percent steel fibers in concrete matrix there will be 25 percent increased compressive strength then even the modulus of elasticity will increase about 15 percent with addition of 1.5 percent of steel fibers see by addition of 1.5 percent of steel there will be two results compressive strength will increase by 25 percent and modulus of elasticity will increase by 20 15 percent now let's see what are the advantages of using steel fiber reinforced concrete we have seen its behavior that is nothing but its advantage as it will increase tensile strength flexural strength toughness structural strength so let's see one by one see first it will have improved structural strength then it will also increase tensile strength as well as the toughness then there will be increased resistance to impact means this type of concrete can also be seen we have seen its applications that it can be used at the places where there is a impact so it can be used at the places where there we want resistance against the impact so it will have increased resistance to impact then it also has resistance to freezing and thawing so it can be used at places where there are chances of freezing and thawing action then they act as crack ter crack arrester that means the crack width will also reduced then there is also reduction in cost and maintenance cost of maintenance and repair work then improved ductility will be there because we are using steel fibers therefore ductility will be increased we know that out of various fibers glass fibers steel fibers natural fibers steel fibers will have more ductility therefore by using steel fibers in fiber reinforced concrete it we will have improved ductility to the concrete then it will also have increased abrasion resistance that is wear and tear resistance will be more now let's see the applications of steel fiber reinforced concrete see the last advantage we have seen just in the previous slide that it will have abrasion resistance therefore we can use it for highway pavement then we can also use in air airfield pavements or you can say aircraft runways then we have seen various types of steel fibers and in that video we have seen what are the applications of steel fibers so same applications we can apply here that by use of steel fiber reinforced concrete we can use it in highway pavements airfield pavements even in the tunnel lining we have seen so it can be used in tunnel lining 
and see it also can be used in short crit short crit is nothing but application of concrete by the gun or by the pneumatic pneumatic pressure or by the air pressure over the concrete surfaces or even the in the form work so now we can use steel fibers in short crit also then impact resisting structures as i've told you that it can be used at places where we want impact resistance then in the production of precast elements we can use it and construction of slabs and beams in the construction of slabs and beams you can use it so these are the applications of steel fiber reinforced concrete so this was the video about steel fiber reinforced concrete we have seen its applications we have seen its advantages how it will behave under various loadings when the tension is applied or when we increased or decreased the percentage but 1.5% 1% 2.5% and we have seen its behavior how the energy absorption will be there whether it will increase or not how the compressive strength will be there how much by how much percent it will increase how much percent by how much percent modulus of elasticity will increase and we have seen its introduction also what is fiber reinforced steel fiber reinforced concrete so this was the video about steel fiber reinforced concrete thank you